Hello there, everybody. I'm Mr. GamePie. And I'm George E.W. Yes, and uh, today we're going to continue the nighttime backyard. And uh, we have quite the opponent in the digger zombie down there. Yeah. Now, there are quite a few ways that we can go about dealing with him. And, um, I think what I'm going to do... <gasps> mm-hmm. Is I'm going to do this setup again, but this time I'm going to bring in the cattails. John Cena. <laughs> uh, yeah, John Cena. <laughs> That's who I'm gonna bring in. I do it. Sorry, mm -hmm. I do no, it. No, it's good. We need all the memes, George. Yeah, it's those diggers. Mm -hmm. They're no good. They're no good. They will punish you. <laughs> I don't actually know anything about John Cena, so he's, I just know that he's a meme. He's Superman, but even worse. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. You, I think you told me that he like always wins. Yeah, mostly. And, or if he loses, it's, they always say, oh, because he was injured, or oh, they cheated. That's why. Yeah. I think uh, I think in Smash Brothers competitive play, we say no Johns. Or no, not no Johns. It's, some player that was always, like, saying that there was some other reason for him losing. Oh yeah, I think, I don't know who was it, but, yeah. You, you know about that, that, right? Yeah, I, I don't remember exactly, but... Apparently he, he was a guy who always complained, and once people complain, they say, No Johns! Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So no, no Johns, Thomas. <laughs> Don't worry, that's not me. If uh, if I ever lose in the verses, I'll say, you know what, you did a good job. I just suck. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's that's John Cena. He never loses. Yep. That guy that never loses. Yes. Um... Also known as me in verses. <laughs> oh yeah, you're still you're still undefeated. Yeah, I'm still undefeated. But how long will that last? Spring, I don't know. spring Brock Lesnar. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna put down a cattail first, I think. Mm -hmm. You were having cat moments a moment ago, weren't you? Yeah. Like I was. I went to brush my teeth. Once I, I started to go back to the room to record with Thomas. Yep. My cat was like, no. Don't go, and he grabs my leg. He's like, no, don't, don't go to the room. <laughs> well, I'm don't sorry. go to the room, George. You have so me here. Yeah, I'm right, sorry, man. Two more episodes. <laughs> yeah, we need two more episodes tonight. Yes. Or else I'll probably, like, spontaneously combust or something. I don't know. <laughs> you, you will implode? Yes. That is exactly what I will do. Implode. Well, that's not how it works. It's like... Yeah. <laughs> there now, one nice thing about the night levels in uh, the Xbox 360 version is that you can hover over a space and see if it's an open space or not. Like, if you have anything planted down there. Ah. Oh, that's right. It's a lot easier because... Mm -hmm. Also, PC I took the cattails in because they can beat these guys. They oh, can, They can shoot nice. backwards. Nice. And once I have more of them, that will actually help a lot more. There we go. Now he's gonna have like two of the cattails shooting at him, and that's gonna be really bad for him. Yeah. Kitty cat. Things that are bad for your health. Cattails shooting at you. <laughs> yeah. Health. Healthy health. Oh uh, yeah, I gotta have them HP bars. Yep. Okay, those one up is ready. So, any any plans for tomorrow, Thomas? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, tomorrow, technically in like 23 minutes, it's my birthday, and I'm gonna be turning 22. Yay! I don't know. 22 yeah. isn't doesn't seem like a particularly interesting year. It's like double two. Yeah. <laughs> I I guess maybe that's lucky or something. Yeah. Actually, wow. We we might. You said 23 minutes? Yes. Oh, that's right, you have like two hours ahead. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
That means we could get your birthday during our, our video recording. That's true. We could be recording during my birthday in this session. Yeah. Oh, oh so the, the end of the world. Oh, yeah. That happened one day. Because the weird Magadan. Yep. Ah, uh, let's see here. Let's get rid of the fog. It'd be nice to be able to actually see what's going on. That Coffee. would be an ideal turn of events. Coffee! Yes. But you know, even if a minor zombie gets past the cattails somehow, they're gonna get to the gloom shrooms, and the gloom shrooms are gonna take them out, because they can fire backwards. Yes. Yeah. They're really good in that regard. They're also just really good in general. I think I never tried the cattails in story mode. Really? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's it's reasonable to say that you might not have had them in story mode the first time. Yeah. Before. Oh yeah, first round not. But I don't, I'm not sure I, I use it. Oh, the look, we got one. a miner. We got a miner. Oh, let's, here we go. Let's watch the cattails destroy him. Kill him. Kill him with fire. All right, First cattails, spikes. go for it. Go for it. Look at those. Look at those. They're they wrecked him. Destroy. Oh, Get there's away. another one down there. Here we go. We oh. got another one. He's like, oh snap. And then they turn around Spike. and just Spike. annihilate him. Destroy. They get a f they the minor zombies get a few bites on the sun shrooms, but it's honestly not that bad. Yeah, it, it could be a lot worse. Yeah, because before you could probably get the shooter, the pea shooter, they only fire his back, and mm -hmm. the zombie will probably be able to eat the first plane. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, the split pea that shoots backwards. And the star fruit are what you're really intended to use against these guys. Yeah. But neither of them really seem to do their job that well. Yeah, or the uh, the magnet. Yeah, yeah, the magnet. The, the the magnet can essentially uproot them. Yeah. No, don't really like it because yeah. it, it can ruin your plans. It's true. Say, like, oh snap! You appear there. No. Uh oh, that's not that Whoa. good. Whoa! I mean, oh there wait, no, the gloom shroom saves the day. Never mind. Yeah. All right. Coffee. And oh, you know, there's there's a minor zombie right there, and then he's oh, gonna he's die dead. even faster now. There's an extra two cattails. Oh, yeah. he actually ate the sun shroom. Oh, uh, of Not that course. that matters at this point because we won. Yeah. Yay! Party. Very party. Pinky party. Uh, yeah, exactly. Oh, dude, you better start cutting up. Oh, the season's almost over, I think. Oh, nice, yeah. I'll, I'll probably catch up here eventually. Yeah. Alright, oh. so just take oh. these. Mm -hmm. We have miners. We have bucketheads. You know what I'm gonna do in this round? Magnets. That's gonna be good. Magnets? Yes, magnets. Because my necks are cool. Yes, and I'll do Ow. these, and I'll do uh, I'll do spikes. Oh, oh well. We don't Better. have balloon zombies because if we did, it would tell us. Because we can call this the blind episode. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's a blind run, guys, in the sense that I physically cannot see what's happening on the screen. Haha, uh -huh. there it goes. It happens. Yep. Oh yeah. Yes. Oh wow, Jordan. It's online in this Skype. So who knows, maybe one more for the next video. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yes. <laughs> Oh yeah, I should have too slow. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. you know you better go fast. Yep. It's almost like they're a TSPP, except they're basically just a puff room for the water. Yeah. And that's kind of sad. I think you really need the the imitator for for them mostly. Yeah, yeah, the imitator can very well help for them. If you have an imitator sea shroom, you have won the nighttime level, pretty much. Yeah. As far as the water is concerned. Oh, yeah. Because, I mean, you know, there's there's always, like, the ground and stuff that you have to worry about. They're not going to help with that, but... Whenever it comes to the water, having the imitator sea shroom will result in everything being dead. Oh, yeah. Unless you use it for a useless flop. <laughs> Thomas, what does Magnus Shrooms do? Oh. <laughs> so things like the minor zombies, um, the, the the minor zombies digging apparatus, ah. and the bucket heads buckets, and screen oh, door okay. zombies screen doors. But unfortunately, they have to hold it for a while. Yes, they they had to recharge their magnetism in a sense. Boop. <laughs> but still, it'll help a lot. Yeah. Because cool. they are magnets. It's cool, I guess. <laughs> Our main offensive power in this level is going to be the cattails. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, too many meow. <laughs> yes. The meow is necessary. Also, our magnet room is gonna get eaten by that guy. Yep. Fortunately, they only cost 100 sun, so... Oh, okay, see. They're really easy to replace, and they also recharge very quickly. So yeah, sure, your magnet room might get eaten, but it's not gonna be that big of a deal, because you can just set, one, set another one right out. Here it comes. Oh, it's the first wave. <laughs> yep, it's the first wave. It would be nice to be able to see more of the zombies that were coming, but, you know, you can't have everything. Yeah. It's either love or money, according to Splatoon in Japan. <laughs> can't have both, clearly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nope. Nope. Only one. Only one may pass. May the force be with you. Any, any favorite quote from Pixar, Tom? Oh man, a quote from Pixar. That's a hard one to think of. Nope, I can't think of one right now. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, George? Kitty! Yes. Yes, that's a good one. Or... Bubbles! Oh right, from, from Finding Nemo. Yeah, <laughs> bubbles, pickles, I think. Yeah. What kind of fish is it? Um, I don't remember offhand. Yeah. I okay. know that, uh, I really liked the starfish whenever I was younger. Oh, yeah. I, uh, it was peach. Always on the wall. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> also, I know my magnet shrooms are getting eaten like every two seconds, but I don't care. <laughs> How can you see that, Thomas? Well, I can see it because basically I can plant another one right here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I keep planting them all in the same places. And it keeps being available in those places, so. Yeah, they're getting eaten a lot. Don't lie, you have X ray too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I mean, you know, as long as they're doing their job up there. Sometimes a magnet shroom getting eaten isn't the worst thing that could happen because then it doesn't need to recharge anymore. Yeah. You just have to plant another one down and it's fresh to go so it can get another minor zombie. Yeah, it saves you time for using the shovel and holding B. Yes. Which I think is the best thing because 
I don't know. I can't, I cannot remember any time when I used a shovel by accident in the PC um, version. Yeah, yeah, I can't. I can't really think of any time either. Yeah. I think it's a really good spot. <laughs> yeah. I think it's that little like gap between the plants and the shovel is enough to not grab by accident. Yeah, pretty much. Good game design. Ten out of ten again. Absolutely. Oh, oh wait, it has a pool. No, same point. Oh no, not a pool. Too much yeah. water. Yeah, same point. Eight. Commentary. Indeed, it's just at this point there's not a whole lot to say because sending out magnet shrooms constantly. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. That's the level now. It's magnet shrooms and cattails just constantly. WWE magnets and cattails on the pay per view. Oh god, can you hear that, Thomas? Nope, I can't. Okay. There's something going on in my background, so. Oh, okay. Uh oh, there's a uh, dragon box. There was a dragon box zombie up there, but he died. <laughs> Probably had his magnet stolen by a magnet room. Oh, that's right. That's another way. That's another reason I brought magnet rooms into this level, so that they couldn't use their jack in the boxes, because magnet rooms can steal those. That's why I rather go to Carl Jr. Oh, uh, I have another cattail available to me. I'll probably plant that down. Oh, there's a jack in the box, the original. Oh, no. One nice thing is that uh, you know there's only specific zombies that can go into the water. So a lot of the most extreme threats that you can run into are only going to appear on land rows. Uh -huh. Don't need to worry about them ever appearing in the water. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. Oh uh, the oh wait you you don't have Xbox One right? I do not. I was gonna say oh do you get a rare replay? I wish. It looks like a really good time. Yeah. How many copies of Benji Kasui you have? Um, I have one for the N64, and I have one on my Xbox 360. Oh. In, a, in the sense that it's a digital copy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so with the rare replay, we'll have three! Yes, if I were to get it. Wait, <gasps> Re remix of Benji Kasui? Mm -hmm. This is gonna be a sequel then, confirmed. I wish. Yeah, I know. That'd be cool. Yeah. Especially also, if it was a good sequel that was like the other Banjo Kazooie games. Yeah. Also, um, what do you think of the new Rare game that are making from the Pirates? Um, I haven't actually seen anything about it. Yeah, it looks. Eh. Uh, uh, yeah. It, it, it looks fun, but I don't know. I think everybody was expecting like a Rare classic after a long time. Yeah. Because it's like, yay, you're finally trying to make something original, mm -hmm. but, but uh, we will really like it, one of your classics at least. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, with that said, that's the end of this episode. Oh man. <laughs> so, I'm Mr. Game Pie. I'm George GW. And uh, next time, we might finish up the Night of the Backyard. Yay. So yeah, see you then. Bye. Goodbye.